it's mysterious. It's, uh, it's one of those stories that people are very interested in. For Apache Junction police, the big question remains nearly three decades later. Who is she? Her body found by a man walking his dog in the desolate area near the northwest corner of Idaho and Baseline Roads, south of Highway 60 in Pinal County. Apache Junction Jane Doe is believed to have been between 16 and 18 years old when she died. I think most people have the, the feeling, uh, as we do, that she should be laid to rest properly, that she should be identified, and that somebody should recognize that she existed and that she lived and that uh, she mattered. An autopsy failed to determine the cause of death, but investigators believe Apache Junction Jane Doe had been here for nearly five weeks before her body was discovered. Through her DNA profile, Apache Junction Jane Doe is believed to be half black and Hispanic, estimated to be about five foot one, wearing blue denim cutoff shorts, a light colored short sleeve t-shirt with soccer balls on the front and back. She also wore a yellow metal ring. A, a ring, she had a bus token from Phoenix, and uh, there was a little paper uh, penny in her pocket. Since 2018, Apache Junction PD teamed up with the DNA Doe Project, a nonprofit dedicated to identifying John and Jane Doe's. Karen Binder continues to work the Apache Junction case using GEDmatch, a website for genetic genealogy research equipped with a global database in which anyone can upload their DNA file. Binder says recently, GEDmatch changed their policies to provide way more DNA matches. We can uh, see all of the matches that are in GEDmatch instead of just those that have opted in. So when that happened, um, we got some really solid new matches for Apache Junction Jane Doe, and those have um, led us to find um, some people that we suspect could be in her close family. Um, so we're currently looking for those people and it's uh it's hard because we're uh doing a little international search right now dna doe did locate a first or second cousin of the jane doe who provided a name they had heard of before this is the biggest lead we've had in this case to have the name of somebody bernard lyon newman is his name who is he police say a crucial link to identifying apache junction's jane doe but they say he is not a suspect in the case at all Newman is simply a close relative, born in 1953 near Darmstadt, Eberstadt, Germany. His mother named Elsie Marie Newman. His father's name unknown, but was an African American believed to be a service member stationed in Germany. This is the closest that we've been, and we've been working on this case for a really long time, so it's super exciting. But is Newman alive? If he is, is he living in the U.S.? critical piece to the puzzle for investigators to find. Just a huge case and, and be huge for the city of Apache Junction, but more importantly, I think it would be huge for the family of this, this young lady. Corporal Harshman hopes someone out there recognizes the name in their own family tree. It could lead to identifying the mystery, Jane Doe of Apache Junction. This has been a mystery that's been plaguing our department and pl plaguing our investigators for uh, a long time. So we're, we're happy to be this close. We're hopeful now, but we still have some work to do. Justin Lum, Fox 10 News.